Hello YouTube viewers. I'm Bunker Gamer 82 and today I'm going to be showing uh some of my uh survival supplies or as I like to call them apocalypse supplies. So I've been collecting for many years. Uh When collecting survival supplies, obviously you want food, water, uh, guns, and anything that would benefit you in the event that you don't have electricity and you don't have uh, authority in the outside world. So let's get started here. I, the, the first shelf, I got, uh, well, you got uh, a, a ton of batteries, you got uh, uh, radios, lanterns, I got a bunch of little mini propanes, uh, light bulbs, generator, uh, a bulk of candles, uh, more lanterns on the bottom there, more candles, uh, more candles, <laughs> uh, several gun cleaning kits, you want to keep your guns clean. You know, got some soap there, you know, it's, uh, basically anything you can find in the wild. You just, you think to yourself, uh, could I use this in an emergency situation? So I got my main two gun cabinets here. Uh, two pistols, which, this little beauty here is my grandfather's World War II pistol. It's an M1911 Colt beautiful condition. I know this camera sucks, but I, I love this handgun. Really freaking cool. Got uh, a couple uh, tactical shotguns, assault rifle. Yeah, you know, I got ammo spread all over the place. You know, you, you can't ever have too much ammo. Uh, You know, it's uh, especially if you find it on sale, buy that ammo because it don't go bad. All you got to do is keep moisture out of the shotgun shells. Uh, so now th this thing has come in handy a lot. The vacuum sealer. Now I have sealed a ton of dried products in these. That they are absolutely amazing. I would definitely recommend purchasing one. Got gas masks, helmets, body armor. Uh, another generator, more body armor. You got, uh, medical supplies. Now, I, I have random medical supplies all over the place. You know, whenever I find this stuff, you just, uh, you just stock up, man. And over here, I have the main bulk of my food. You got, uh, luncheon meat. That there is Apocalypse Gold, and uh, this here is Apocalypse Diamonds. Cooked ham in a can. Very good. You know, that, that stuff stays good for so damn long. Uh, the best buy date or expiration date is bullshit. I have eaten a can of Spam that was 10 years old. It tasted fine, it looked fine, and it I didn't die. So, you know, that stuff stays good. Rule of thumb, you know, judge by, uh, judge by what it looks like, what it smells like, and what it tastes like. If something's off, throw it away. Same goes with canned goods here. Got a ton of canned goods. Let me get a better view here. I know it's dark, too. Yeah, canned goods, canned goods, canned goods. Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter stays good for a long damn time. I don't exactly know how long, but plus 10 years, as long as you keep it in a, uh, uh, well, properly, uh, proper temperature and proper humidity levels. Ramen, same thing. Ramen is absolute gold. You can stock up on ramen, and it's cheap, just like peanut butter. Most of the items I have are cheap, you know, besides the guns, obviously. And body armor and some of the other stuff, but food, food's cheap. 
you know, you can stock up on food. Just, just, uh, I would pretty much go for dried foods. Now, the canned goods, the canned goods got a shelf life around 10 years, again. Uh, one mistake I made, don't buy fruit. Fruit does not have a very good shelf life in a can. It turns brown and it, it just goes to shit. Now, this shelf's a little bit harder to see. Uh, this is all my dried goods, pretty much. Now, I have uh, packaged it with the vacuum sealer and boxed it. Now, the main problem you're going to run into when collecting apocalypse food is mice. Now, I had to learn trial and error, and that is why it is sealed and packed. You don't want that stuff to smell, because you'll get mice. Uh, the best solution for mice... You know, that you can set the kill traps and blah, blah, blah. I use poison. Poison's the easiest method. I, I pretty much have no problems. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... Shelving, obviously, is huge. Now, I have more shelving behind me, filled with more stuff, but I'm not going to show any of that. Uh, I'm just keeping it to this small area here for security purposes. But, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's a good amount of my apocalypse supplies. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have yourselves a great day.